This is Adam Want. I am a professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice, where I serve as chair and senior researcher for the CUNY Academic Technology Research and Development Group. Many of us have heard that Apple has switched from their lifelong almost 30-pin iPad iPod adapter to a much smaller adapter called the Lightning adapter, the Lightning cable. So what I have here is I have one of the old 30-pin connectors, and I have three different Lightning accessories that we're going to unbox. Well, one I already unboxed because I needed it for an emergency, but we're going to unbox these three devices, take a look at them, and see what they do. We'll start with this one because it's extremely small. It's the size of about a quarter, the thickness of about two quarters. This is the smallest lightning to 30 pin adapter they have. I use it at home with my Bose radio for my iPad, uh, my iPhone. If you have a device at home that just has a 30 pin connector sticking out of it, like a charger or a dock or a radio, this device snaps between the 30 pin adapter and then fits right onto the iPhone and uh, or iPad mini or the newest iPad at this point. So this is the s absolutely smallest adapter. It extends the total plug about an inch and a half, um, about an inch and a half. And this is the absolutely smallest adapter that they make. If you want to go up one size, uh, we have a longer lightning to 30 pin adapter. It's uh, 0.2 meters. So it's 0 0.2 meters long. And we will quickly unbox it. In the box, a 0.2 meter long adapter. Uh, this could work with many, many different accessories, including something like my Bose clock, where I could leave this end, which is the 30-pin adapter end, I could leave the 30-pin adapter end plugged in, let's say, to the Bose radio on the side, and then have a little bit longer of a cable to reach my iPhone or iPad. So that is the second adapter. We have the smallest adapter. We have this medium size adapter. Then we have a straight lightning to USB cable. This is what would replace the USB to 30 pin adapter. And the lightning to USB cable is a little longer. It's just what we would expect from Apple when we open it up. When we open it up, we find inside lightning to USB adapter and a short certification and compliance manual. So we unboxed three different items today. The small mini adapter, the slightly longer lightning to 30 pin adapter, and the full-size lightning to USB cable. All of them will work with any of the new lightning products, such as the iPhone 5, the iPad mini, or the latest generation iPad. Again, this is Adam Want. I'm a professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. If you've liked this, please subscribe and like so I can continue this work. Thank you.